All right. So I'm going to go over how we can solve these exponential equations. So we say exponential equations because they have an exponent. That's step one. Make sure you know you're solving for the exponent or the power. Usually, like usually. So that means they also have bases, which I'm going to usually highlight or like emphasize in like parentheses or in red and stuff. It's, it really um, it helps me and it helps me like help other people. So let's look at the first guy or the first you know equation. If eight to the x power is equal to two to the six power, so one of the strategies is to make the bases the same. Um, you have to kind of just think like, what do eight and two, like what number can they both be written as bases into? I don't know if I kind of said that all weird, but um, well, let me just show you. Because we should, or you should, definitely should, know that 8 is the same as 2 to the 3. So, 2 to the 3 is the same as 8. So I have this on the left. And on the right, I got, um, I just have my 2 to the 6. Ah, with that glare. And now I got one more. Let me just make this right here. Two to three. I'm placing my eight. Also the x power, and then I keep my two as a two. Six. So then on um, using my red marker, I don't know why I have two many. So now we use one of the properties of exponents where I can uh, multiply this exponent x by three. And so then I have two, only the two inside the parentheses, two to the three x is equal to two to the six. And see, now I have the twos isolated on each side. So it's kind of just like using simple logic. Well, it's kind of math, well, always. Um, so I can kind of like just ignore them because they, they don't matter anymore. What I just really need to figure out is 3x equal to 6. And then I know that x will be 2. Now also make sure that if you're like, make sure if you're just your first learner, is check your answer because um, especially if you're taking a test, it's pretty easy to check these answers. So. I just have to check if 8 to the 2 is equal to 2 to the 6. That's not 2 to the 6, that's 6 to the 6. 2 to the 6. So 8 to the 2 is 64. That's what 8 times 8 is. 2 to the 6 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So it checks out as it should. The next one. So my bases here are the four and the one half. Four and the one half. Okay. Now, I'm trying to avoid that glare. Okay, so I'm going to write that four as two to the two. Two to the two. Inside parentheses, because that's the same as four. All the two x equal to one half is the same as two to the negative one. Two to the negative. That's one half. Because two to the negative one is on. Um, you can write two is the same as like two over one. 2 to the negative 1, this is just the same as 1 half to the 1. This is one that usually gets my students and a lot of kids, you know, fractions, that whole thing. So 2 to the negative 1 is the same as 1 half to the 1 power. All right, so then you can see that now I can distribute this exponent out there. I'll get on the left 2 to the 4x. Two. On this one, make sure you distribute the negative one 
and the, and make sure you distribute the negative one to the x and to the five. They, they both want they both want a piece of this negative one. So make sure you do that, and you will get two to the negative one x or two to the negative x minus five. Yep. And you see, like you see inside the parentheses, the base, they're both twos. So you don't have to worry about them anymore. They're going to just like, you just ignore them. And then I just took the exponents, 4x. Is it too tall? The 4 is really tall. 4 to the x, or 4x. 4x equals negative x minus 5. So add 5 to each side, 5x. One, two, three, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Lost the next one. Let me erase this. And um, I'll leave that there for now. So, okay. So my bases for C are. Three and that's trash. Another one. Or nine and three. So I can write this nine as three to the two or three squared. So I have three to the two to the x on the left. And on the right, I just have three. Or three to the one if you want to think of it that way. So I just have three to the forty. And then you can probably see what's going to happen here. I can distribute that two to the, I can distribute this two to this x. On the left, I have three, two x is equal to three to the 40. Not a problem. My right, bases here go away because they're but they're isolated. And I just said two x equal to forty, and x is equal to twenty. Yeah. All right. So indeed, my bases are nine and one third. So if you remember this one, how we wrote one half as two to the negative one, I can write one third as three to the negative one and nine as three squared again. So we write them yeah, so three squared on the left. And on the right, I got three to the negative one. That's the x. So this is the x plus three. And now I just can solve for x, or not? Well, let me just not yet. Top of this up. Okay, so three to the two x on the left. It's a three. So that three as well. So on the right, I'm gonna have three to the to the next. Now that my bases are isolated, I just can ignore them. Up. I set two x equal to negative x minus three. Solve for x. Start at three. X will be negative one. Mm -hmm. Two more. Wait, where's that two? Okay. This one's like a mm -hmm. sort of. Base is four on the left, base is one half on the right. 
So what do I make my bases? Two. No, I can't hear you, but I'm trying to make you, you know, not depend on me. Anyways, uh, four is the same as two to the two. One half is the same as two to the negative one. So on the left, I got this. On the right, I got this. On the layer again. Some of this down here. So those two of the number one. X minus nine. So two to the two to the x. So on the left, I'm gonna have two to the two x. Right, I'm gonna have two. Distribute the negative one to the x and the minus nine. Two to the negative x plus nine. Bases cancel because they're both two. Going down here, I just have two x equals negative x plus nine. Solve for x, add x to both sides. I have three x equals nine. Divide by three and I get x equals three. All right, last one for now. Bases are eight and four. They both can be written in terms of two. So eight is the same as two to the three. Four is the same as two squared. I'm gonna rewrite this as two cubed. I got two squared. Two cubed to the x plus one is equal to two of this two squared to the three x. I'm going to need to distribute this three to the x and the one. And I'll get two to the three x plus three is equal to two. On the right, I just need to distribute that two to the three x. I just get two to six x. Bases cancel because they're both the same. I said my power is equal to each other. Three x plus three equal to six x. Take away three x from both sides. I'll get three is equal to three x. And then my answer is that x is equal to one. All right, so there you go. Hope that helps. Good luck, guys.